All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is a first pile, really large excess cherry pick stuff. But as you can see, we've got visible gold from our smelting trials of 20 and 2021. We're gonna get it ground up here in the hammer mill, my version of one, and uh, pan it out, smelt it out, and uh, see if we can't make our gold button a little bit bigger. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy some music and the show. Let's get to work. All right, well, that was the first batch. Uh, and I just wanted to ex express uh, one thing, uh, safety first, especially when you're uh, dealing with heavy metals, uh, ores, impact crushing of, of rock, all those particulates can get in, uh, get in your lungs and obscure the safety process. So you gotta stay safe, wear your respirator. All right, well, here is the first batch. Why do I say first batch? Well. I've got more right there in that bucket. It's about halfway, well, it's not halfway full, but it's all the smaller stuff. And the reason why I've separated and kind of cherry picked this stuff out is, um, one, I saw visible gold in this stuff. And two, this stuff over here in the bucket, over there, there's a lot of that wool in there. It's a furnace wool. So I'm not really, wanting to mess with that but doing a kind of checking everything as I go along this is stuff that's just going to get in the way right here this magnetics steel and uh there's really a lot of it so I'm going to be sifting through this stuff for a little while and then I'll get the second batch rolling so get my respirator on Stay safe. Enjoy the music. Got to find a way to hold that thing, dude. But... Never give up and just keep trying. We'll find a way to get her done.
All right. Well, we got it done. And we separated out a really good amount of magnetic material. Um, and this would have just gotten in the way of the smelt. There's probably some left in here. There is. Um, I don't know, we'd have to run it, run it, run it, run it, run it, and I don't, oh my God, there's a lot of iron. Um, so I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna get panning. Now my wrist is a little worn out, so it's gonna be a little bit of a lengthy panning process for me. I'll put you guys in a time lapse so you guys can at least see what I'm doing. Um, and then we'll get down to the very heavies here in the bottom of the pan. Separate that out. See if we can see any free mill gold, which we should see. I don't know why I'm calling it free mill, but we'll just call it that in this circumstance. See if there's anything in there that we can visually see. We should. And then uh, we'll save all of the really heaviest stuff to get back into a smell. I have no idea what to expect out of here. I know there should be at least two pieces of gold based upon that picture on the front of this uh, video. Let's get into it. All right, so uh, if I'm kind of pointing to the camera backwards, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm painting opposite of the, of the camera, but I kind of want to show you just the premise of what we're doing here. So, let me turn around just so there's not the shadow there. So if you look, we're, I've already seen some copper up at the top, and we've done all kinds of smelts and melts, so. And I've had all kinds of crucibles crack and leak and pour out. Good ore, too, with a lot of sulfides. So I have no idea what's going to be in this stuff. But you could already see here at the top those pinkish, orangish round balls. Those are all little copper balls. And in the corner there. And, uh... I see some gold too. There's probably some lead down in there. But take a look at all that gold. You see that? All that stuff right in there. That was just one scoop out of uh, the, the concentrates that we're working with. Is this a piece of big old piece of gold too or copper? That's copper. But yeah, there's a, quite a bit of gold in there along with some copper. And if you look, the, I think that's, sorry, I'm getting a little excited here. That's all some super fine gold. Yep. So we're gonna keep doing what we're doing. Hope you guys enjoy this one. All right, well, it's time for the pan back. What's up, Mr. Kitty? What are you doing? Uh-huh. Um, go ahead and roll the outro here as I pan this out. Uh, and some of you guys might be like, what? The outro? Yep, this is going to be a little mini-series I'm going to be putting together. Uh, we have at least the same amount of small fragments from our smelts and melts yet to go through.
probably some silver. Um, and I want to be able to oxidize off this copper. I've always had a hard time getting rid of that. Right? That, this is copper right here. But um, as you can see, there's a lot of gold up in the top of this Garrett Super Sluice. And, um, you know, one way could be just doing exactly what I'm doing. And if this is the easiest way, just panning it back and separating the lead, snuffering up the gold. Awesome. I'll just go ahead and do that. Um, but I, I, when we get down to it, there's going to be some really fine coppers and stuff that are going to, uh, you know, make some impurities here in our button. And I don't know if that'll all come out when I cupel it with lead or bismuth, which actually I'll probably use bismuth, bismuth. Uh, for this cupel process so any feedback you guys could give me would be awesome i really do need it and uh this is a learning thing you know i've only been smelting ores for you know going on two years now so uh, last year was my first successful smelt uh, with a button and as you can see here now in 2022 we're going to start recovering what we lost that is a huge line of gold though and um I want to get better and you know the a great way to learn in my mind is from people that have done it uh in the past and have the experience and the knowledge to pass on to our other uh you know our younger generations you know this kind of information is gonna be passed down to my kids and hopefully uh they carry on the same traditions that i enjoy um so with that said this is mike vendetta coming at you with part one re-recovering the gold that we lost check that stuff out i wanted to thank you guys for watching don't forget to ring the notification bell and uh subscribe to our channel see ya